The One Shepherd program is made up of six courses. And those six courses are the Warrior Basic, the Warrior Advanced, Land Navigation course, Light Leaders course, the Mission Command course, and the Leadership Reflection course. Now in a perfect world, that's the order you would take these courses in as you go through the One Shepherd semesters. But as we so often know, the world is less than perfect. And the only One Shepherd requirement for the order of courses is that you take Warrior Basic first. After that, you can take any other course in any other order that you want that best fits your schedule. Uh, the Leadership uh, Reflection course, though, is designed to kind of cap off everything you've learned in the previous five courses. And you start out this course like you do any One Shepherd course with PT. Uh, the Leadership Reflection students do their PT along with all the other uh, students regardless of what course they're taking. Uh, once PT's over though, then they move into a role of leadership by helping out the new warriors and the warrior basic learn to integrate their miles with their field gear. They help each student get set up, they help teach the students how to uh, pair their rifle to their harness, and once that's done, the warrior basic students then go off and do warrior basic things, and the leadership reflection course kind of goes into what it name, its name implies, and they reflect on leadership. There's uh, several uh, talks throughout the day about leadership, the impact of leadership, the styles of leadership. Um, examples are gone over. Everybody's encouraged to uh, show real-world examples they've encountered, and it'll go on that for like half the day. Then you will uh, go out and do a rope bridge together, which is most of the footage you're going to see in this video, because let's be honest, videos of guys sitting around and talking is not the most exciting thing you can watch on YouTube. So the uh, rope bridge is kind of your active part of the class, and the team works together, and they build a rope bridge, they help each other cross, and they cross over a small obstacle and cross back. In this case, it was a creek. Um, once they've done that, they collect the rope back up, uh, go back and talk about how they did it and what leadership styles were used and how people cooperated with each other. Um, then you have a few more talks in the afternoon. And then you set out and uh, set up a von Recht, which means in German at right angles, according to some people. Other people say it doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm sure the comment section will settle that debate. Anyways, that's where the last part of the course uh, really takes place for the day, is you eat out in the field, you have your meal out there. Uh, our meal that night was uh, mermited out to us, it was some excellent gumbo, uh, and it was nice, hot, and really hit the spot. And at that point we built a fire, and we uh, just continued discussing and reflecting on leadership essentials and what the students attending the course were hoping to get out of it. And that continued on, and then it kind of devolved into the students talking amongst themselves, setting examples and talking about current events, and then uh, off to sleep we drifted. Next morning, got up, had a ruck march, as is one shepherd tradition, and as always, regardless of what course you're taking there, on the second day, you do a ruck march. And the purpose of that ruck march, as we've stated in previous videos, it's a three-mile ruck march, to help you find out how your gear's riding. Now, for the new students in the Warrior Basic, that's for a lot of them the first march, first trying things out, and they're figuring, finding out, hey, did I get the right pack? Do I have it packed right? Do I have it riding right? And for students that have done it before, it's more of just a check, make sure everything's still good. And then after that, the Warrior Basic students go into the rest of their day, the uh, Land Nav students went into the rest of their day, and the Leadership Reflection students, um, had some more classes. Um, basically, it was about personality types and how they integrate and ways to make certain types of personalities interact with the group better. Then lunch came, final formation where we got to see many warriors patched into the regiment. And at that point, still fulfilling a leadership role, the leadership reflection students then took on leading the students through weapons maintenance. And for the students that had to leave, because many of the students in the Warrior Basic this time had to get back on with their lives and so they paired up with a leadership uh, reflection student or a land nav student to uh, make sure their gear was done, get some help, uh, 
packing up and turning everything in, making sure nothing was left behind. And all this was done in a way to help, help them in the rush to get on the road that they didn't take some gear home by accident or leave anything behind. And that pretty much uh, wrapped up the leadership reflection course. And if you've been through the whole program, it's kind of a nice way to cap it off. We hope you're enjoying this coverage of the One Shepherd uh, summer semester out at CMTC in Missouri. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for future coverage of the rest of the semester.